Hey guys, so I'm back with another video in .NET Mavi and this time we are going to build a complete app from scratch to end and the app we are going to build that is this facts B app so this is basically an app which has uh, facts category wise facts so I have these two screenshots of this app so first this main page so we are going to have fact of the day we are going to have couple of menus this fly out drawer menu then we have fact of the day then we have categories human facts animal facts entertainment facts so this is going to be a horizontal uh, scrollable collection and then we have random facts and then there is this second screen so this is basically a fact details screen and on this screen we are going to have this nice box with these two rounded corners then we are going to have this uh, category image then the text of that particular fact then we are going to have couple of options on this so in this build we are going to use device features also so platform features so this first button this button so in this button what it does if we click on this this is going to copy this fact onto the clipboard so devices clipboard then the second button this volume icon so on when we click on this button it is going to speak out the fact we see on this screen so this is again a device feature so this is going to use the speech to uh, sorry text to speech then we are going to have these navigation buttons left previous fact and the next fact and the middle button this button is basically share button so we can click on this button it will open the devices native share uh, the sharing box so we can share this fact to whatsapp facebook email or whatever shareable uh, applications we have in the device and on the first screen uh, this fact of the day so for single day this is going to be the same so what we are going to do we are going to use the devices storage for this so we are going to use shared preference for this so we are going to save this uh, this fact of the day into shared preference then we are going to fetch this from the shared preference only for throughout the day then when you open this app next day it is going to check in the device storage if the fact for today exists or not if it does not exist then it is going to create a new fact of the day then it is going to save this fact of the day to the devices shared preference storage along with the current date so we are going to use all these features and I have to so the previous video which I created for uh, whatsapp UI build so that video that was long video so it was almost 45 minutes so what I decided so I am going to break it down this video this particular uh, this facts me video into multiple parts so maybe uh, three to four parts are going to be there and 20 to 25 minutes each so that we can have the proper time to build this step by step and the videos are not boring and so long so i'll try to uh, upload all the parts in the interval of maybe two to three days so yeah so let's go to visual studio so i have just created uh, this project so this is empty project i have just named it facts b maui and i have not done anything inside this then i have opened the emulator for this so first thing let's run this so it's running now so first thing we are going to change the first thing we are going to remove complete content from this screen uh, this is the main page so we are going to but let's say table here uh, into factory fine and then uh, we are going to change the title of this 
let's call it facts B yes and if you can see our color theme that is uh, some yellowish color so I have that color with me so I have these two colors this is a primary color so I'm going to add this to resources styles colors so I'm going to change the primary color to this one and then secondary color with this color it's starting so now we are going to add the flyout that navigation drawer so first thing we need to enable it by default uh, the shell dot flyout behavior this said this says that this is disabled so we are going to enable it so we are going to use this flyout so this is this has three options so disabled means it is not going to show this flyout menu icon then flyout fly out means we are going to have this flyout item it will open it and close it then the third option is locked that says always open this flyout menu so for us we are going to use flyout now if you see it has only this home we are going to use let's say add two three options mm. let's call it menu 2 let's call it menu 1 and let's call it menu 3 and if you open it we can see menu 1 menu 2 and menu 3 first thing we are going to add these pages so I'm going to stop it and I'm going to add couple of folders here first folder we are going to add four pages second let's add four models in pages let's have the first page new item So let's call it main page or maybe we can move this main page to this pages folder. Second page we are going to have category facts page. So on this page we are going to display the facts category wise facts. Okay so I need to change it. This is the CS only. this one so the first one uh, .NET MAUI it supports complete page design using C sharp also and we can use XAML also so I prefer XAML but you can choose C sharp also if you want to if you don't like XAML and if you find it difficult so you can go with the C sharp approach also so category facts page then the second page I'm going to add so majorly this uh, app this is going to have these three pages only main page category facts page and then the last one detail page so we'll say it fact details page so let's call it category facts for now and let's call it details page from a pack details page okay and let's change this also so let's call it pack details 
welcome to category facts okay next thing from shell home we are going to change these to let's say category facts and the detail we are going to change this later but for now let's see if we can navigate to these so these pages these are in pages folder so in order to access these pages we need to add name space for these so xmlns we will call it pages you can access this main page is on the root only so it can be directly accessed then for category page this is in the pages namespace category facts page and this one it's in the it is also in the pages so yes now uh, let's run it counter button we have cleared the complete thing so this is not applicable now so we are going to get rid of this also and we don't need this also remove this yeah try again So I have these uh, the categories. Each category has specific image. So I have these images. So you can see we have animal facts, we have entertainment facts, then we have human facts, miscellaneous facts, science and technology facts, and word and languages facts. So in my previous video, I told you that uh, it requires dot and mouse requires file names to be lower case and without any special characters if you want to separate the words we can use underscore apart from an underscore it does not allow any other special character so let me copy these okay this ran and let me copy these icons okay so we see these facts b we have this category facts we have this fact details I'm going to copy the category images inside this resources and images folder so we have all these so first let's add some models so first model we are going to add for category so let's call it category model and category model we are going to create this as maybe struct public struct category model and this is going to have For now this is going to have name and image then second take a class fact model and it will have an ID category name I am normalizing all these so in a project 
you might have a category link directly here and from that category model you can get this category name and category image but for the sake of simplicity i'm using these directly here then we are going to have the actual fact let's move it to its own class category now we are going to load the category so let's create a static method which will return the category models say get categories and we are going to return list of category model let's add a constructor here So we can have new category, then we can have name and image. So if we open our resources folder in images, we have animal facts. So we'll start from here. So we have animal and the name of the images animal.png. Let me copy this. Then we have human human.png then we have entertainment entertainment.png then we have miscellaneous before that let's add science and technology science and technology and it has science and technology dot png then we have words and languages then the last one is miscellaneous facts misc So in this, uh, we are going to use MVVM model. Let me stop it. We are going to use MVVM model, model view, view model concept. So I'm going to add one more folder to this solution, uh, view models. Then I'm going to add a new class. So for home page, I'm going to add home view model or let's say main view model. This main view model. So when we say view model, we are going to have a couple of properties which are going to use uh, I notify property change and changing interfaces. Then we are going to have commands. So we can write those manually, but there is this community toolkit which provides a very elegant and simple way to use model view view model and vvm model so it uses code generators source code generators so we are going to use community toolkit so let's go to nuget packages and search for community toolkit So we have this community toolkit Maui and then the second one we will have MVVM community toolkit MVVM this one so we are going to install it okay accept now in enable to use it we need to use use community toolkit let me check if it got inside installed community toolkit yes
using community toolkit Uh, let me check what was the name of this method. Let's go to GitHub. Let me check in my any of my previous project. Oh, which was used Maui Community Toolkit. Oh, we only installed MVVM, but we need committed toolkit dot Yes, it says this. Okay, so we are here back with main view model. Then if you look at the screenshot I shared earlier, uh, it has fact of the day, then it has this list of categories, then these random facts. So we are going to have these three components here. Main view model is going to have Act model fact of the day then the second it is going to have an enumerable of category model which will be the categories then third one it is going to have an enumerable of fact model with the name random facts now we are going to inject this main view model into our main page in order to use that we can use uh, directly let's say view model equals to new main view model we are not going to use this we are going to use the dependency injection feature of dotnet mavi so we are going to register these inside the mavi program program so before builder dot build what we can say we can say builder dot services dot add then we have these three lifetime scopes transient scoped and singleton so for this home view model main view model we can use singleton
so doing this we can register it we are registering it so we can inject it into our main page so let's go to main page and we are going to inject this here uh, let's call it view model so we have this view model now but if we run it so before that this main page we are going to add this also as a singleton now we are good to go so for this first thing now we want to use that category model let's go back to this main view model so for these categories we are going to have the categories from this category view models this method get categories so what we can do we can simply call it inside in its constructor so let's call it constructor and we will say categories equals to category model dot get categories so now this categories it has all these things what we need but we have added those community toolkit but we are not using those right now so we are going to use those uh, maybe in the next video for now i think it's already 26 minutes so maybe let me quickly add these categories on the main page then we will wrap this video and we'll continue this build into the second video now we are simply uh, in this video we are mostly setting up the boilerplate so from next video we'll increase our speed so for more main page what we are going to say uh, let's say we are going to have a vertical stack layout the first one fact of the day for now we can simply add this text fact of the day and maybe let's add margins of 25 and font size 30 then the second item now we are going to use those categories so we'll quickly build that so those categories those are going to be a part of collection view and in collection view we need to add item source so item source we are going to get it from the code behind so somehow we should be able to get those categories where those categories lies if we go to the main page so we don't have those categories directly as a part of this main page we have those as a part of this main view model so what we can do we can simply say that binding context for this page is going to have this view model so we bind this pages binding context to this view model now we can have all these things so it is going to work but it complains because it is not able to find figure out that is this the right item for this item source or not so in order to have this as a part of intellisense what we can say we can say that data type for this page it is that uh, that main view model but we cannot access that main view model so same for pages we are going to add namespace and let's call it models uh, maybe let's call it view model and we are going to use this now if we go here and if we will say view models we can get this now if we'll come here we'll say binding then you can see we have these categories and we can have this fact of the day we can have these random facts so we are going to use these categories now we are going to design those items one by one uh, so 
for example this these categories so if you look there is this image then there is the name of the category so we are going to directly use this so we are going to design a template for these items so what we can say we can say collection view dot item template and it is going to be a type data template and the type of this data type would be the type of category so if we go to this category category is of type category model now category model this lies in the namespace models the so first thing we are going to add the models namespace xmlns let's call it models and models now we can access that category model now we are going to design those so i am going to use grid for this with two rows so row definitions let's say auto and auto first row i am going to use that image first thing i am going to set the row that it is a part of first row row 0 then the source i'm going to get it from this view model from this category so you can see we have this image and name properties so image is going to be from image aspect fill and we need to set the height and width so maybe let's set height and width i think the height was 160 and width was 150 and for image i think we are good now and for name we are going to use label and row 1 it is going to be part of the row 1 the text for this it is going to be the name of the category so we can get it from the binding dot name then it should be horizontally aligned the name should be horizontally aligned so we can say the horizontal text alignment center and the background color we are going to set background color and we are going to get it from you remember when we started we have added these colors the primary and secondary color so we can access these colors using static resources so what we can do we can say static resource then we can call this so this primary this is coming from this key so we can access the secondary and all those colors for now just use primary and when we are changing this color so change the text color to white now if we run it let's see how is it looking yeah it's coming along so you can see these are vertically aligned so the default behavior of collection view it aligns the items vertically we need to align these horizontally so what we can say we can do collection view dot item layout and we can add linear item layout and we have orientation here so default is vertical but we can change it to horizontal so you see now these are horizontally aligned we have all these so let's add uh, some margin so on this grid this grid this data template grid it represents single item of this collection view so single item is this uh, the image the category image and the name of this category so we are going to add some margin here so maybe 5 from the left no from 
5 from the right and 0 from the bottom. Now we have this gap, this margin. Okay, so I think the video is going to be long. So I am going to wrap this video up and we will connect in the second video. So we will design these items the same we have these rounded corners, the more spacing and the font bold and all these things with this categories heading then we will use this fact of the day feature so all these things in the next video so yep thank you if you like this video please share subscribe subscribe this channel for the next parts and yeah we'll connect soon